Man, we were on a good streak with some decent looking buses, and now this came along. Man, what? come on, Collins. Oh, oh no. No, no, no. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 This thing is terrible looking. So first off, I think it's clear to say that right now Titan is going to be beating Collins just because they released this. Second off, I do have to applaud Collins for going with this chassis because I've always been kind of supportive of seeing what this chassis would look like on a bus. And uh, I, I never wish I saw it. The third thing, interesting concept, the low floor bus. This was actually a idea that was previously a thing with IC. This is the IC low floor concept. It says 2017 CE, but that's a lie because this picture came out like over 10 years ago. Basically, the idea is more or less a wheelchair lift bus. The idea is it, it's pretty much a wheelchair lift. It's pretty much a handy bus without the wheelchair lift. And it's all cleared out so that the wheelchairs can be clamped down. Good idea in theory, but when it looks like this... Now, let's go ahead, let's take a look at this. So here's a here's a video of the low floor concept. I've never seen this before. And this is this is from the IC low floor concept. It's not really worth watching. I'll link it down below if you do want to watch it. Let's take a look at this. With the all-new Collins bus low floor design, wheelchair users can explore the world up front and in style. Thanks to half a century of relentless innovation in the school bus industry, parents and faculty everywhere will find designs that focus on quality, and students will experience a bus ride that delivers accessibility for all. With three flexible floor plans to choose from, and backed by industry-leading strength and safety, these low floor buses will ensure students have access to an equal education before, during, and after school. Okay, so they, they, they have a good idea here. Low floor layouts. So let's take a look at what they could be. Okay, first one is three wheelchairs and uh four actual seats eight plus three this one is one wheelchair and seven seats now this one i just can't really get behind the this this design only having one wheelchair in there i can't see why you would only get one hopefully this last one will change that never mind no it didn't five seats and two wheelchairs couldn't they have cleared out so that there were more spaces for wheelchairs. I, I think that would have made sense. That would have really kind of sold it if they're making this for handicapped people. Photo gallery. Here we go. This It just looks really weird. I mean, Collins is pretty much the one who's introduced all these kind of new chassis. And kind of, I don't want to say made them mainstream, but they've definitely popularized them i guess it just it doesn't look right and even like these bars right here that just it doesn't seem like it belongs there i like how there is a dedicated chair for the aid that's going to be on the bus i think that is something that i can definitely get behind click to explore a collins bus in 3d okay yeah let's do that this is fancy look at this Okay, so the back of it just looks pretty normal. This side looks fairly normal. I gotta say, I like the warning lights on it, though. Hey, there's the guy taking the pictures right there. This just looks weird, and it, I, I understand that this is a low-floor bus, but that could cause a lot of problems. So, for example, I know that when I go to, and I know this isn't going to be a problem everywhere, but when I get closer into downtown Houston, that there are some potholes and other stuff that could damage the underside of the bus. I don't think this would be very good in hilly areas either, and I don't even want to imagine what it's like going on like train track or something like that. Okay, so the next thing that I'm seeing is that the ramp looks really, really long. And I understand that, you know, it... it the longer it is, the less height goes up. You know what I mean. 
Think of all the space that's going to be required when you're just driving around. If you're on a street with a lot of cars, you might have to be kind of in the middle of the street to be able to use this ramp. I also want to know how this thing is stored. I think it's that this part right here goes into the bus and this part goes under the bus. The door right here, it, it just looks, it's weird. It's fine. I can, I understand why it's there and all. Nah, not really my thing. Looks like it has a decent amount of headroom up there. I think I could easily walk around in there. The only cup holder's right there, which is not convenient, especially if there's two people in there. You know what? This is unfortunately true, but after digging around and looking at other people's comments, someone brought up a good point. This is the first bus to use a Dodge chassis since this stupid piece of sh Look at this, look at this f***ing thing. Like, get, yeah. mm -mm. Mm -mm. Stupid piece of sh Oops. God. Why? Why? Why is that a thing? Why is it... Why couldn't they have implemented it somewhere else? Why did I have to see this again? Unfortunately, I do see a resemblance here. Thank God I at least like Collins a little bit. That's kind of scary to think. Let's see what Nishan thinks about it. All right, y'all heard it here first. Nishan thinks it's ugly. So does Arjun, apparently. Of course Brandon likes it, but, you know, his opinion doesn't really count. Hopefully this thing isn't going to cost that much. Oh, never mind, that's too much work. I love how you can download the brochure for it, but it's totally not for that bus. It's for their MFASBs. Okay, so, final thoughts on this? No. No, 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 no. Not at all. I think that this is a good concept. I don't think that it actually needs to come to market. Like I said, first off, we're already pretty deep into using wheelchair lifts. Second off, this being really low floor, that could cause a lot of problems to the bus. Third off, this thing is just kind of hideous. Mainly the chassis. I like the body, but the chassis is god awful. This thing won't be taken off soon. Collins already has. Let's see. They already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Crap, where did I, where did I cut off at? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's 18 different school buses that people can choose from. That's a little too much. Plus, I don't think Dodge is probably the right company to be brought back. Their last disaster was <clears throat> not that great. Okay, I gotta, I got to uh, edit this and get this up ASAP. So, yeah.